Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove these sets are equal. So this upside down U here, this is intersection, and this one is union, so you're probably familiar with that. This one here though, A set minus B, let me show you what this is, it's A set minus B, sometimes people write it like this too, like an actual minus sign. And so what is this? This is the set of all X, such that X is an A, and x is not in b. So it's all of the elements um, in a that are not in b. So it's you're taking a and you're subtracting all the elements from b, hence the name set minus. So let's go ahead and go through this proof. So to prove two sets are equal, we have to show that they are subsets of each other. So let's start by showing this direction here. This basically means we're going to show that this set here on the left is a subset of the set here on the right. So we'll start by taking an element in this set, and then we just have to show that it's in this set over here. So take any element, which I'll call x, in this set here. So this will be a set minus b intersect a set minus c. So now we can write down what it means to be in the intersection. So this means that x is in a set minus b and x is in a set minus c. And so what does this mean? So this means that this one means that x is in a and x is not in b. And then this one means that x is an a, so we still have this and here, it's a, just a string of ands, it's beautiful. And x is not in c. Really nice stuff. All right, and so what are we trying to show? We're trying to show this is true. We're trying to show that x is an a, but it's not in the union. Okay, so what does it mean to, to not be in the union? Well, if it's in the union, it's in b or it's in c. If it's not in the union, it's not in either. So x is not in b and it's not in c. So let's emphasize that. So thus, we should have that here. x is in a, but, let's use the word but just for emphasis, x is not in b and x is not in c, right? So, so we have this statement here. So what does this mean? So this means that x is in a, but, so if x is not in b and it's not in c, then it's not in the union. You know, you can use the word but instead of and, and it fits here, right? Because it's like a, it's just a better word. You can use and though. Um, you can also use but here, right? Instead of and, if you like. So this means that x is an a set minus b union c. Really nice. So we started with an element in this set here, and we showed it's in this set here. So this shows, so this shows that, you know, this direction. So that A set minus B intersect A set minus C is a subset of A set minus B union C. So that shows uh, that direction. Now let's, let's do the other direction. Change colors. This is fun. I haven't done this problem yet, so this is kind of interesting. So now we have to take an element in this set, and we have to show it's in this set. So take any, take any x in that set there. So that would be a set minus b union c. So what does this mean? This means that x is an a, but it's not in the union. So x is an a. And I'll, I'll use and. You can use but, though. X is not in the union. So what does this mean? So this means that X is an A. And if it's not in the union, that means it's not in B and it's not in C, right? Because it's an either, if it's in B or in C, it's in the union. So if it's not in the union, it's in neither. Then X is not in B. And X is not in C. Okay, we're trying to show it's in this set here. So we're trying to show it's in this intersection. So let's carefully justify why it's in each of these sets. So 
here it's you can still see it here right here that's what we're trying to show it's in so since x is in a this is really key and x is not in b we have that x is in a set minus b so i'm just specifying that it's in this first set here which is what we wanted it's up here as well by the way it's just um I ran out of room on the screen so now let's justify why it's in a set minus c likewise likewise x is in a and x is not in c so x is in a set minus c thus x is in a set minus b and x is in a set minus c hence it's in the intersection of these sets x is in a set minus b intersect a set minus c and i believe that's it right we started with this here and we showed it's here so this shows so this shows really beautiful argument this shows that this set here a set minus b union c is a subset of a set minus b intersect a set minus c going kind of faster at the end and so we've shown that they're subsets of each other therefore they're equal so i mean technically you're supposed to say something like let me switch colors for the final conclusion <laughs> so since you know since a set minus b intersect a set minus c is a subset of a set minus b union c and a set minus b union c is a subset of a set minus b intersect a set minus c so we have that they're subsets of each other right they're each contained uh, in each other so this one's contained in this one and then this one so they're, they're subsets of each other so therefore the sets are equal so therefore a set minus b intersect a set minus c is equal to a set minus b union c and that completes the proof so uh, kind of a long video i tried to rush there at the end because it's so much writing trying to keep the link to the video um, as short as possible um, you know see less to watch uh, hopefully uh, this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is uh, working on some set theory good luck to you